Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any 3D models by just using a character's photo to create the face and also include the whole 3D models. First, I open the character creator. The character creator 3.2. If this is the first time you open, by default, you will load this avatar. So I have to click here and click load neutral base. Then it will automatically load this neutral base. This is not a female, this is not a male. So before before I start everything, I just to give this neutral base avatar some dress. So for example, I give a pants, right click. So here I, I need to click here, click template, right click the pants, find file, the pants. This is the template folder. So here we already have a lot. just need to choose a suitable pants for the character okay I choose this one select E okay the next I'm going to close everything then back to here right click find file to find the shirts Right click the shirts and find file. So now I choose one. I give this white color shirts. Besides that, what else? Okay, this one is better. Long sleeve. Then I back to here. Give a tie. Now everything is just in plain color. And also I right click the code, find file to give a code. So now how many codes I have? Just to look one by one, which one is better? So maybe this one. Maybe. I try. So this is not that suitable, so I undo. So we look again and choose again. We need a blazer. Okay, maybe I give this just to give a white blazer and we see what is the effect. So now I give a shoes. Shoes is here, I right click, find file. In the shoes folder, just to give a black shoes. It's okay if I give a white shoes, then I can change the texture. Just to pull in. So now all, all the clothing already complete. The next. I will just to click the skin and I click texture here one by one first is the necktie necktie I choose click and select the necktie this one I change the color 
now I have some sam sample texture. So now I have this. This is just a picture, a red color picture. So I can drag in to replace the diffuse. Then it should automatic turn to become red color. The next is the blazer. Blazer. Blazer should be black color. I just to pull in the black color texture. Now it becomes black color. And also the shoes. Leather shoes should be black color. So I pull in the black texture. So now the clothing already complete. I just want to give a morph here. And I pull up. Choose a full body essential. Okay. It's under full body and essential. I just try to find is there any suitable one? If don't have, I just to click on the full body. And I can choose some suitable body size. Like CC1 base male. Oh no, this is base female. CC1 base male. Okay. Now the body shape is look better. But the shoes. The shoes mesh and the foot mesh is overlap, so I can double click the shoes, click confirm, calculate collision. So now it is totally complete in clothing. The next I want to generate the face. Okay, so if I want to generate a face, I need to find a photo. Now I have a picture. A picture that view from the front and have a complete face. So this is a PNG file. It's quite suitable for use. So now in Character Creator 3, just to click Headshot. Then, press Q, click on the mesh. It automatically come out this. Then you choose auto. Once you choose auto, you can pull in your PNG. How to know that this is a PNG file? If you cannot see the extension, you need to click view, option, view, and make sure you untick this. By default, the window 10 already tick this, so you cannot see the file extension. This is PNG file. So make sure you come here to untick it, then apply. You can see all the file extension. So now this is the headshot. I just need to pull in the texture. No, sorry. To pull in the picture. This is just a sample picture 01. Just to, just to pull in. Then click generate. After that, we just wait for a while and look at the result. This one, maybe you need to wait for one minute, maybe. Maybe two minutes. It depends on how complicated the face and how fast your computer's GPU and CPU. So while waiting, you can rest for a while. When it finished, you should be able to see the photo here. Now it almost finished. Sixty percent. Okay, totally finished. Now we we have a final check. Is this face look alike? This is generated by the AI. Auto generated, you know, no need to do the sculpting process. So if you feel satisfied already, you can just export as FBX. So now where should I export? By demo, I just to open a new folder here, new folder. So now this is character. 
01 demo enter I open this folder I click here to copy the folder location control C to copy after that in the character creator tree I press file export FBX with the cloth character at here I choose Maya at the same time this one must select calibration and I click export I copy this location ctrl C and paste at the destination location ctrl V then enter now I give a name character 01 demo save So now you get an FBX file. Before we import into our Blender, I just need to check with the 3D Exchange. So now I open my 3D Exchange 7. I pull in the FBX file to check it. See whether is that all the facial expression and the rig already complete in this FBX. So this one I select no. This is just for me to double check. So when I open I can just to pull down this and click convert to non-standard to check whether all the bones are already here okay all the bones and rigs are complete all are completed so this one I cancel this one choose yes this is just to double check Okay, so now I check the morph. Is that all the facial morph already complete? So now you can see all the facial morph already embedded into this FBX file and generated by AI. These are the morph. The morph list inside the FBX file. So you, you can almost do any of the facial expression a lot a lot of more so once i already double confirm and double check everything complete the rigs complete bones complete and the facial expression morph complete this one i can close so this is a really complete fbx file that is ready that is ready for animation so now I just want to open my blender. First I delete these three things, three objects. And where is the location? This is on the desktop. So now in the blender file import FBX is on my desktop. Character 01 demo character 01 demo dot fbx I double click this it will automatically import into the blender with the complete facial expression complete facial morph and the complete skeleton while importing you just need to wait for a while it is in loading process and just have a wait so once it already import into Blender, you can just to select everything and have a final check. Click here and wait for a while. You load the texture.
So now, this character will fully read and facial expression already in your blender. And thank you for watching. If you love my tutorial, if you love my video, you can click subscribe button at the bottom and turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new tutorial, you will automatically receive notifications immediately. See you in my next video. Go to the bottom of the video and click subscribe. Click the bell to receive all the notifications for every time I publish a new video and tutorial if you love it. If you find it helpful, I will keep on post more and more tutorial for you.